I thought I would do an old fashioned haul video. So yesterday I went to the Goodwill bins. And I picked up quite a few items. So I thought I'd go ahead and share it with you. My Goodwill bins charges $1.99 per pound. This first item is a 100% silk Avanti Hawaiian shirt. It looks like, I'm not sure if it's vintage. It's made in China. It does have a vintage looking tag, but that could be the, the brand style. So I just recently picked up an Avanti silk shirt at my local flea market, and I was able to sell it for $34 in just one day. So what I thought I'd do is show you how I look up uh, comps and find out what their sell-through rate is and also figure out what to price the item at. For in, in this case, for the silk shirt, I type into the search bar Avanti Silk Hawaiian Shirt. And this is kind of a broad search, um, but it gives me an idea of, you know, how many items are listed, which is 186 uh, silk shirts and then I go down here hit sold items 132 has sold so this is actually a really good sell through rate you know I, I don't know it's like my math is terrible but I, I think it's about 90 95 percent and the prices uh, I don't know what the strike through what it actually sold for but it sold for less than 65 um here's 34 49 42 less than 100 45 55 so i just get kind of a general idea you know these avanti silk shirts are selling for and you know some of them like this one is a very beautiful print i can see here um, it's also new with, you know, brand new, so that's going to go for a higher amount. Um, this is also a really beautiful uh, illustration here. The print is is very nice, so that went for 60 So you can kind of gauge from there. So because of the high sell-through, uh, because of the, you know, fairly high price, I'm probably going to price my shirt for around, I would say maybe about 58 or 64 um, also picked up a Carhartt vest, and it's uh, the duck canvas style vest. You know, I didn't even check the zipper. <laughs> I need to do that because recently I wasn't able to check a zipper on a Kuji jeans, and I discovered that... Um, it had come apart so I'm gonna try to fix it but there's a chance that I can't so this Carhartt uh, duck canvas tan colored vest I think is vintage and it has the fleece lining on the inside it's a size large really a cool vest I was <laughs> I was wanting to keep it for myself but you know what I really shouldn't I should definitely sell it so looks like when I did quick comps looks like I could sell it for maybe possibly 50 or 60 I have to kind of double check that again okay so if we look up the Carhartt vest um, in this case I typed in vintage Carhartt vest men duck canvas Sherpa lined and you know just adding some you know important keywords um, but still keeping it pretty broad and 119 results came up for what's listed right now and yeah so this is definitely the right vest um so I can't I'm sorry I can't remember what I it was 119 and 99 so again this is a very high sell-through rate again almost I would say like 95% or something and uh, the price that 
sold was 42, 58. Uh, so mine is more of a tan color. And the pricing is kind of all over there, the place, the sold comps. But what I think is because of the high sell through, I'm going to price mine pretty high. So I might price it at 64, somewhere around there, and then, you know, see what happens. But this checking the comps, looking for sell through rate and pricing really helps me figure out, um, you know, helps me with my listing. Oh, okay. Here's a receipt. And I'm going to leave it there for later. Okay, this is just a little uh, Mulan uh, t-shirt that I got for my daughter. So I'm gonna put this one over here because I just need to wash it and actually I need to wash all these things. So, but I'll get to it later. I'll get to sorting to it later. Uh, this is another item that definitely needs a wash, but it's a spirit jersey has this really fun um big logo on the back and i don't know can you guys recognize sort of the graphics for this spirit jersey it's a small world graphics and i think this is just an adorable spirit jersey this is actually the disney oh disney parks yeah so it's a size small Definitely has a lot of stains all around the collar, but I'm pretty sure that I can get that out. So just needs a really good uh, stain treatment and wash. Okay, then I thought I'd just do one more comp, and it's for the spirit jersey. So I typed in, it's a small world spirit jersey white. 45 came up at what's listed right now. And I hit sold, 45, so 13. So what is that? Um, I don't know, maybe like about 30%, something like that. Um, so, you know, not a super great sell through. But one thing that I kind of keep in mind is right now it's just the beginning of spring. And then once, you know, high spring summer comes I believe this item will become more popular so perhaps this is a good time to be listing this item and the you know again there's a kind of a wide range of sale price but it generally looks pretty good so I might list mine You know, I might list mine about 74, 74, 68, something like that, um, and see how it does. Because I can always, if no one's, you know, showing interest, then I can always lower my price. Um, and the way I would do that is probably I would end my listing, I'd go through it, make sure I didn't make any mistakes in the listing fix them if i did and then uh lower the price and then go ahead and re you know uh sell similar hopefully this was helpful and if it was please let me know in in the comments thought i would try adding this to this haul video okay let's see hopefully the sound quality is okay i have my little microphone on <laughs> i have spen here and you know, I think Sven really missed doing these um, haul videos because he was very excited when I started to set up the um, the iPhone over there and um, he instantly jumped up here and, and sat down. So I think he likes the attention. Uh, this is a Free People tunic top. I did not look up the style code or anything. Uh, but just from the style of it, what I'll do is I'll look up the style, then I will check uh, comps on eBay, 
And if they look pretty good, like if the sell through rate is good and then the price is good, uh, then, uh, or the ASP is good, then I'll go ahead and list it. But if it doesn't look that good, I will go ahead and take it over to my buy sell trade stores, um, which is Crossroads and Anastasia. So I'm going to put that over there. Luckily, you know, with that one, it doesn't look like it has any stains or damage, which is kind of rare for a, a an off-white item. So next is, I'll just show you the inside, is a Lauren, Ralph Lauren blazer. It's a size 44 regular. Uh, what's really nice about this blazer is it has that, um, is this a hound's tooth plaid? I can't remember, but it's got this really nice plaid. It's in a nice tan color, and I believe it might be a silk wool blend. If I can, should probably just double check. Yeah, it's a silk wool blend. So those are, for those reasons, I went ahead and picked this uh, blazer up and I do like to pick up Lauren Ralph Lauren blazers uh, for both men and women okay let's see what else, we've got? what else is here oh okay here is a little uh, Michael Starr's long sleeve t-shirt it has this really nice detail of uh, snaps on both shoulders and I just thought this is a nice basic item. And I will probably take it over to the buy, sell, trade store. I think this might do okay. Michael Stars, I believe, is sold at Nordstrom. And I've tried to sell Michael Stars before, you know, in my um, Poshmark and eBay. And it really... Um, for me, it, it didn't do so well. So that's why I'm kind of, I don't really want to put it into my uh, closet or store. Okay, next is a puffer coat, and it's the brand Dollhouse. I thought this is a really um, kind of trendy style. It's more of a cropped fit um, here kind of has that sort of Y2K vibe going on, although I'm not sure if it is actually vintage. Um, and it is filled with down. So I, for all those reasons, I went ahead and picked this one up. Um, size medium, you know, and I didn't check comps. I just went ahead and picked it up. But, you know, I'm thinking that I might list it for, I don't know, maybe 45 or so for this. But yeah, feathers are coming out, so <laughs> put that over there. Let's see. What is this? Oh, okay. Here is a Talbot's. Uh, let's see if I can stand up. It is a Talbot's trench coat. And I thought this is just a really good-looking coat. I was considering keeping it for myself here's another one <laughs> um but i don't really have a you know a nice raincoat and i just thought this would be a, a nice thing for me although you know it is a uh, viscose wool spandex blend coat which is really nice and what i what i tend to do is I like to sell my really nice items and then I keep the items that are not very good so or they're flawed so probably I will sell this but um, this is a size 14 again didn't look up comps when I was at the bins really at the bins I, I don't have the time to look up comps very often so I just kind of have to go off of a you know what I know and and a feeling um, but you know I might list this one for What I say is I might list this one for like 44, 48, but then I'll check comps and see if I need to go higher or lower on that. So I will see. Um, 
Let's see, here's a pair of Everlane jeans. This one has the little Everlane patch in the back, the leather patch. And this one has a button fly. Size is pretty nice, I think. The size is a size 30 regular. And the style is called the 90s Way High Jean Organic Cotton. So I thought this was a good looking pair of jeans. I double checked and made sure that there wasn't any uh, serious problems with this. This is also button fly. So I think this will, this will do pretty nicely. And again, this one, if, if I don't want to list it, I could take it over to my buy sell trade stores and they do accept Everlane. And the reason why I might even be thinking that is because Everlane for me has gone down in the reselling market. And it used to be like the jeans used to do really, really well. And now um, my experience is that it doesn't do as well as it used to. So put that down there. Here is an Obermeyer quilted jacket. Uh, let's see. This is a size 10 ladies in really great condition. Um, it even has some like mesh under the arms, I think for ventilation, which is great. And I, from what I understand with Obermeyer, it's a, it's a nice brand. It's a good brand. Um, and I know that, uh, quilted jackets were pretty popular I don't know a little while ago so I'm hoping that it's still popular but you know it's a good outdoor brand I'm just gonna double check pockets and things right Sven let's see if there's any any money in there nope no money okay so this one again I didn't check comp so uh you know maybe maybe 44 or so again i will check and see and this one um i'm pretty sure i'll go ahead and list any jackets and things like that i'm not going to take over to the buy sell trades because they're very very seasonal and when you sell in person um you have to make sure that you're taking over very seasonal items so otherwise they just you know will not take it um uh, so this dress I picked up just basically because of style. I thought this was a really interesting looking piece, sleeveless denim uh, dress. I think it's pretty much uh, knee or below the knee length. It's a size eight. It's um, international concepts, lace detail in the back. So to me, Perhaps a lot of keywords can sell this item, um, you know, such as, I don't know, Western, uh, distress, streetwear, maybe mm, not really grunge, um, maybe ranch, rodeo. So thought maybe that or if I also decide I could probably just take this over to the buy sell trade stores and I'm pretty sure that they would take that. Okay. This is a, an Athleta, just a long sleeve, basic t-shirt, uh, very basic, but it's in great condition. Uh, it has a rounded hem on the bottom. It's so soft, very, very stretchy, really easy to wear, um, great everyday piece, and it's in this really pretty blush pink. So I really picked this up for the buy sell trades. And when I sell at the buy sell trades, if I do a trade, they do 50% of what they you know sell it for or their list uh, price. And if I decide to get cash back, then they'll give me 
of the listed price. So, and what happens is, you know, since I'm not taking photographs and listing, it's so much easier to just take it over there and just get, you know, a quick, uh, quick sales. Okay. I decided to pick this one up. This is a Fox racing, um, which call <laughs> board shorts. And it has really cool graphics, big, big graphics on these long board shorts. So with, you know, spring, summer here, um, I decided to go ahead and pick this up and didn't check comps at all. Just went off of thinking that it's a popular item. So I don't know. I might list these for 30 but again, I will check comps and make sure. Here's a Zara lace blouse. And it has some really nice details. It has a little bit of like a lace trim right on the shoulders. It also has this inset of a chiffon in the back to give it a high low hem and i don't know it has a really like dark romantic vibe going on i mean it's also could be gothic um or whimsy goth um it could be fairy grunge um could be a lot of different things i picked this up for the buy sell trade so they have a list of the brands that they you know, generally take and Zara is on, on the list. So, all right, this is a fun one. I was able to find this Fat Albert uh, FUBU shirt uh, and it's platinum FUBU. I'm pretty sure this is vintage. It's totally wrinkled up, so it's hard to show, but it has just Fat Albert all over print on this um camp shirt so kind of like a hawaiian shirt but it's uh instead of flowers it has fat albert so love that um i'm old enough to remember watching uh the Fab fat albert show and i loved it it's it was such a great show um this is a 2xl and i'm gonna go ahead and sell this on my store i don't know I don't know what it would go for. Let's see. Yet again, <laughs> I need to look up comps and figure that out. But when I saw this in the bins, I knew that I just couldn't pass this shirt up. So I do like to pick up FUBU. Um, Sometimes it sits and sits and doesn't go anywhere, but other times it just, you know, will fly out the closet, especially if it's um, anything dealing with Fat Albert or any of the other characters of Fat Albert show. So I'm going to add up the receipts now and just see what I spent. And then I'll also count the items. So I added this up and it came out to $9.98, so about $10, and um, which is really great. I think, I think the employee who rung me up might have miscalculated some of the weights um, to my benefit. So anyway, so that came out to $9.98. I'll say it's $10. $10. And then I'm just going to count up the items. And then also I can sort, you know, the darks and the lights for washing. So... I picked up 17, um, 17 items, but two of them are for myself, one for my daughter, one for me. So 15 items, and I said it came out to like $10. So I'll figure out the average cost of goods of this haul somewhere else because I can't figure it out in my head. 
thank you so much for joining me in this haul video and you know please um let me know you know what you think of it if i should continue making these haul videos if you could like and subscribe and also leave sven and i some comments we'd love to hear from you okay take care bye bye